Okay, let's try this again. I don't know why the camera keeps dropping off, but um, I just bought this new laptop. Now, basically, you're gonna see. I'm just messing around a lot of the gadgets to see, you know, allow how to work it. Um, it's been a long. Long time since I've been on the PC or computer. I've just been using my um, cell phone, so you know I didn't even know the basics. Like I need to turn this TV down. One minute. I didn't even know the basics to how to. Uh, Copy. Um, a link. I really, I had a hard time. I figured it out, and I still didn't figure it out. <laughs> I wrote down the entire link. To, uh, no, yeah, I did eventually figure it out. I sure did. I did. But how long it took me to get the link together? So I can link just my YouTube channel to my Instagram channel. It was just so long. Um, I'm practicing. I'm really, really trusting God right now, guys. On a, in a way that I have never done before, but in a simple aspect, not nothing huge. But I know it will make a difference. In, in my entire relationship with God. But let me tell you what I'm talking about. Like, okay. My apartment is in a way. Okay. You've been following me, you know I um, am upgrading my apartment. Well, you know, whatever. Not upgrading, but you also change. Yeah, upgrading. I lay a little bit of contact here, contact there, sporadic changes. I'm going to take Holy Communion too, guys. Um, you know, God, Jesus said take, you know, uh, communion as many times in memory of him. And I feel as though right now is the time that I need to take it, praise the Holy Spirit for guiding me here. Because I will get really anxious and frustrated because I'm not figuring out just editing stuff. And along top of that, um, I haven't really, I'm doing like very minimal work in the apartment to get this thing back in order. And um, what else? It's, it's, uh, as far as launching, um, launching my business, I mean, everything is just like, I'm not, I'm practicing not being anxious for anything. Trusting God's word, like before, I was even full of, like he knew the plans he had for my life. And that's when I'm basking in that part right there, that like God knew the plans he had for my life. And I'm really, really just allowing myself the grace to do what I'm doing. It's going to get done. I'm going to learn how to edit. I'm going to learn everything is going to get done. You know, I don't have to be anxious and uh, overwhelm myself and be here feeling sorry for myself because it's me. Um, trust me, the enemy is trying, you know, the throw the thoughts at me. Um, throw the thoughts at me. So, you know, but as long as I don't entertain the thoughts and linger on that stuff, I will be okay. And yeah, it's just it's going to get done. Everything is going to get done. The apartment is going to get put back together. Um, I am going to learn how to edit. I'm going to everything. Because one thing is sure, I'm super certain. I know with our shallow God that the Holy Spirit uh, led me to start this channel. And God told me to start this channel two years ago. So it's important that I don't get caught all up in to where would I be if I were to start this channel two years ago. Because God is still in control. He knew then that I was going to be right where I am tonight. Like, he knew I wasn't going to launch like then. 
Um, I got a couple channels and I keep saying I need to deactivate some of them. I mean, the other ones I'm not really using because I kept trying um, to figure out what to do, what, what, what kind of content. I don't want to be a copycat, I want to be original, so I'm asking God to teach me, you know, his will for this this channel for myself. To teach me, you know, what, what he would have me to do, because I don't want to be a copycat. I want, you know, because I know that I'm gifted, I know that I'm creative, I know that I'm talented, all that good stuff. I know that I can cook, I know that I'm really domestic, I can clean, all that. But what is your will and your plan for me, God? What, what, what you have me to do in this channel? So that's what... I'm just trusting the Lord for it. So, yeah. I'm just trusting the Lord for that. Um, I got a couple things going on right now. Um, uh, like I said, let me wash my hands. I'm really conscious about my hands not being clean. And I know my hands are not clean. And um, I'm about to test food and things like that. I'm just really conscious. And I had to stop the washing and get out the way because it was distracting me. <laughs> the foot of washing was distracting me, so I had to get out of the way. So, um, I went to go get my phone. I forgot it. <sighs> I bought the PC out instead because I wanted to look up a scripture um, concerning um, Holy Communion. But, you know, I'm going to keep it simple. And I'm going to pray and ask God to forgive me. You know, before you take communion, you always want to be in right standards with God. You don't want to have no sin, um, 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 no sin addressed. You want to be sin free. You want to make sure you come before God with a pure, clean heart, mind, and foot. And so, um, I was taught that you always pray and repent before you have um, communion and um, I'm looking for a cracker, We cracker and grape juice. I'm just going to eat a very little bit of this um, and I don't know, I just feel led by the Holy Spirit to share with you guys. It's not for fame or anything like that because I am not like can't be for fame, I only got eight subscribers, so who am I showing off for? <laughs> um, I'm just, you know, trying to be obedient to the Holy Spirit, you know, and um, doing what I feel that I'm being guided to do, you know. Um, it's very, very simple. I'm going to, my glasses, okay, right there. Let's get rid of this background noise here. I don't know. I'm so, you know, two kids and we go. But we did organize the joint. Okay, so some of you probably first time on here. I get out of breath. I do wear 24-7 oxygen and um I don't I don't think I ever really sat down and did a um a total um oh, uh you know, one of those videos I tell you about myself, tell my story video, I guess. I never really sat down and did one of those. What? I'm sorry, y'all. This is really like, what is going on with my necklace? I'm telling you, I have to really handle things, like, and get things out of the way because, like, I won't be able to concentrate and focus on what I have to do if things are, like, out of order. I'm serious, that's just the way I operate. So if I know this necklace is acting retarded until I fix it, <laughs> I can't pray and try to pray and all that stuff until I fix it. First of all, let's hold up. Why is this under my shirt? <laughs> that's probably part of the reason. That's part of the problem. I'm not sure. We're gonna fix that. Oh, I've just not put you in golf. Girl, you know, the devil is a liar. Devil, you are a liar. And the truth is not in you. You know. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, if you, um, I don't know how you feel about whatever. Whatever. I'm not religious. I am ambassador for Christ. 
Um, so I'm not caught up into all that tradition stuff. So if you feel like you want to get some crackers and some grape juice and take the Holy Communion with me, that's it. I mean, you're going to have to have, you know, someone over you because God, the Lord is our shepherd. We should not want, you know, he guides you, teaches you, leads you. And um, especially during a time like this, a lot of people don't have a leader or a church to go to right now because of the pandemic. So you can grab some grape juice. You know, um, and some crackers, these are wheat crackers. I'm just going to eat a small piece of that, but first let me pray. And you can take Holy Communion with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I praise your holy, holy name, Father God. There is no name above your name, Father God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, Father God. God, I thank you for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. I thank you for the Holy Spirit for his guidance, Father God. And God, I thank you for allowing me to be obedient and sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And adhere to the guidance to take your Holy Communion, Father God. Come before you right now, Father God. As humble as I don't know how, God. Ask me to forgive you for my sins, Father God. Teach me how to forgive others who hurt me, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And teach me how to forgive others, Father God. Teach me how not to hurt and offend other people, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. So, God, I ask that you search my heart, Father God. Purify, God, in the name of Jesus. And make me whole and cleanse me and purge me. But his Father God, like any deed that I left done, undone, any promise, any thought, any act, or anything, God, that I have done to hurt anyone, cause harm to anybody, any lie I may have told, anything, any any thought, any deception, anything, Father God, that the, the heart is deceitful, Father God, anything, any feeling, anything, anything, just search my heart, search my heart to go deep into the crevices, Father God, and forgive me for sinning, Father God. In the name of Jesus, and I repent and ask that you forgive me, Father God. In the name of Jesus, God, and I ask that you bless those who um, are watching, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, forgive them for their sins, Father God. And those who, or if anyone choose to participate in this um, communion, Father God, Father God, you say it. Do this and remember of you, Father God, to take communion and remember of you anytime, as many times, Father God. In the name of Jesus, and Father God, and I feel right now what's going on in the world and in my personal life, Father God, right now it's the time to um, remember you on a deeper level, a deeper scale in this hour, Father God. So I don't ever want to forget, Father God, that you um, were bruised, Father God, and you were beat for uh, my iniquities, for my for my sins, my transgressions, and for my health, Father God. And, and for that, Father God, you know, I'm going to take this bread in remembrance of you, in the name of Jesus, Father God, and and you shed your blood, Father God, that I may have life, a life eternal, a life of eternity in heaven with you and your Father, my Father, in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. So thank you for the blood. That you said that I may have life here on earth and in heaven, Father God. And for that, for the shedding of your blood, Father God, and for all the stripes that you have taken for my health, Father God, I drink in remembrance of you, Father God. You don't have to be fancy. But um, you say with the Holy Spirit brings your remembrance. You don't have to call back nobody else or whatever. Okay, so in the name of Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. We, I shall not want. He maketh us to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth us beside the still water. He restores our soul. He leads us up in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we should feel fear no evil, for thou art with us. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. 
Thou prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Thou anointest our head with oil, our cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your son. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God for that. Praise God for that. I don't know. I was thinking, um, something crossed my mind as I was praying. And I'm not going to be long with uh, telling y'all about that. But someone asked me the other day, how do I feel about um, sage? <laughs> how do I feel about sage? And I, I'm like, I don't feel anything about sage. I, mean, I know, like, um, it's a, 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 a deep, deceitful way that the enemy is tricking Christians and non-believers, you know, to deter and sway away from God, Jesus, in the in the Bible, uh, to you know, because Jesus said that He would leave us a comforter, and that's the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, whatever you choose to call Him. And He didn't say that He would leave us sage. So, and it behooves me like the. Um, yeah, but that's how insidious, that's how insidious the disease is. And I see some very mature older women who's calling on Christ in one breath and waving sage in the next breath. And, and, and so I pray in the name of Jesus like that God opened the eyes to the truth that you repent and put the sage down you know, and come unto Jesus, like, He will give you perfect rest and peace. You know, you are um, being deluded to believe that that peace that you are experiencing, that you think you are experiencing, is coming from God. It's not coming from the God that I serve, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. You know, you are being deceived. And we are in the latter days, and it is important for me to use my fourth platform to tell the truth, you know? Like, I'm telling you. So, that's what I feel about serious ladies, like, and gentlemen, you know. Okay, double use a liar. Uh, yeah, tarot cards. And horoscopes and all that stuff. You hear all that nonsense going on? Tarot cards, horoscopes, and all that nonsense. Um, if you are being deceived or partaking in those activities, you are sinning against God. You know, choose this day who you want to serve. You know, you can't serve God and man and the devil all at one time. You choose this day who you want to serve. Because all those things are a form of witchcraft. So when you say witchcraft to people, they think, I don't know, maybe they think of something like in the movies or whatever. But, you know, there are all sorts and kinds of levels of witchcraft, you know, and that is one form of witchcraft, practicing, um, what is it called, sensory, no, what is it called, um, the proper word for it, sorcery, 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 yeah, like the Harry Potter stuff. All that nonsense, that sorcery, all that dum, dum, that stuff that Harry Potter do, magic and all that, all that sorcery. 
it's, uh, it's a sin, it's witchcraft, you know? Um, yeah. So God is not a musician, you know? God is the I am. You know, he's everything. He's everything. You know, he created musicians. He created the heavens and the earth, the moons and the stars. And um, So why would you look for those things for answers? Why would you look to the creation for an answer and not the creator? You know, I'm cutting onions, guys. I'm going to make some onion rings. I'm going to try that with what I was doing. I don't know how this is going to turn out. This is my new PC. Um, video on it. <laughs> just to see what, what, you know, what, just to try it out. So, yeah, I'm cutting onions. Um, yep, I want to make some onion rings. Onions. My daughter say onions. <laughs> onion rings. Nice and thick. Oh, see, look. Uh, that's because of the way I split down to get that. I wasn't thinking. I cut down the onion like that to peel off now. These are not round. <laughs> uh, it's broken. But I'm still going to cook them as onion rings. I sure am. Uh, should I separate that or do that? Like that. Oh boy, how should I read it? We'll see. We'd like to separate it, but we'll see. Yup, so I have some iron rings. I have some oysters. And I think that's what I'm going to fix for tonight. And I'm going to marinate the salmon for tomorrow. I have some orange glaze. Mango orange glaze um, that I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna marinate the uh, salmon in that because I'm gonna put that on as a cook. Let me look up a recipe for that because I'm not. A fresh salmon eater. I, I looked at it and I said, "Let me give it a try." I'm not crazy about salmon. You know, it's too much meat for me. <laughs> like when you bite into it, all oh, flaky, flaky meat. It's just too much a mouthful of meat. Oh, my onion's not cutting right, but that's okay. We still gonna fry them bad boys up. I want an oven, uh, oven fryer. You know, what you call them, y'all? Everybody got, y'all, what y'all got some oven fryers? Yeah, I think that's what y'all got. Oven fryers. There's a lot of onions. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh. And they broke. They are broken all up. And they nice and thick, though. Yeah. I like thick onion rings. I don't like the little skinny onion rings. Ooh. Oh boy, they're juicy too. I don't sit them in water because that'd be defeating the purpose. For me, I like onions. I want to taste the flavor of onion. And these are not the sweet, but Bedallion, I think it's called Bedallion onions that they typically use for um, onion rings. Uh, yeah, and then you know the onion blossom things that you get out back. They use Bedallions, but with a V. Excuse my language, my, my sound pronunciation. Yeah, with a V. Bedallion, sweet onion. For that onion thing. Ooh. Mm. Oh, guys. I'm all doubtful. I mean, I'm just doubtful uh, about the thickness because I don't have 
um, I don't, I can't eat with the dentures in. I'm gonna take the small ones out. I don't want really small onion rings. I could always use them onions for something else. I can't chew my food with the dentures in. So when I cook food to eat, I have to make sure it's at a texture where I can really chew it and break it down. You know? So that's what I am um, saying I'm concerned about. I want to make sure, yeah, I'm going to put the broken ones and the small ones to the side. And just using nice big ones for my onion rings. Yeah, I wish I had some beer or some salsa water. Oh, I wish I could. What I have? No, I don't have salsa water. I don't have salsa water. What I said I have over there. It's not salsa water, I don't think. Nope, it's not salsa water. Let's see, what do I have? There's some acid in it. Nothing. Uh, coconut water? That doesn't have acid in it, do it? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. But well, I'm going to use this coconut water. Let me move. Make some boom. Guys, over here. Because I like to clean and not go. Move my glasses out the way. Just to waste this bit. Get some boom. Um. I'm going to turn the oven on low so I can put the onion rings in here while I cook the oysters after I cook the onion rings. down is I need to take out what I'm not using. You know all those lids and stuff. Or if I had like two two um cabinets and separate stuff because it's all too congested too much. So you're gonna put vegetable oil vegetable oil and this is I have any left over I like to yep I like to uh, use old and use I mean use and new this is clean if you see the color of it coming out it's nice and clean I just have some plums at the bottom, which I'm going to leave them right in the jar. And normally I get and clean the plums. Mm, the plums. Just clean the plums at the bottom and just keep using the jar. But I like to, um, for some reason, I don't know, I like, 
I think it's right, brother, when I have new and old cooking oil together. Cooking oil together. I just think it's right, brother. So we get that on low. Oh, well, you know, not low, but whatever. Okay. Mixing bowls, that's what I need, mixing bowls. I have these storage bowls. I don't have mixing bowls and you guys can hear my story. I am starting all over from scratch, 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 scratch. From scratch, I mean, when I say scratch, I mean, I'm starting over from being discharged from the hospital. With hospital panties, with hospital disposable panties. Yep, hospital disposable panties. And the nurses got me a coat. Keep hearing sounds. The nurses got me a coat. I have one girlfriend gave me two sweatsuits that she, they were brand new, that she couldn't fit, they were brand new. And another girlfriend bought me some um, blue New Balance, blue New Balance uh, sneakers. So this is coconut water, I'm going to use this with the cornstarch. Because it needs to be used to make some batter. I don't have any baking soda or a baking powder. Okay, this is not a plant meal. This is, you know, not a plant meal. This is, <laughs> okay. I reorganized my cabinets the other day, so I got, oh. I wonder, should I use breadcrumbs for my oysters? But I'm definitely going to use cornstarch for my uh, onion rings. And I'm going to try this. This is an experiment, guys. I'm going to put some nutritional yeast. This is what vegans use to help flavor their food. I have started out on a vegan trail, kind of slipped a little bit, going to get back on it. And so I'm going to mix this in here too with the cornstarch and get some flavor on the onion rings. Yep, some flavor on the onion rings. Uh, so yeah, I'll get back on the, the trail. A little bit of salt. This is pink Himalaya salt. Just a little bit. And, um, what else? That's it, really. Um, I think I'm gonna do. I like to put basil and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, parsley flakes, all that kind of good stuff in it. I'm going to put some parsley flakes in here. Parsley flakes. And let's whisk our corn sauce in. I wish I had some baking powder or baking soda or whatever. Ooh, which one? This is to make the batter for the corn. I want not the corn, but for the onion rings. I wonder if I should put the egg in it. Do you guys think? Should I put the egg in it? I don't know about putting the egg in the onion rings. I know they dip it in there when they do the, the dip. 
You know, they're dipping it three ways that they call it a. About. I want to make it too thick, so I'm trying to be careful. It's not just taking forever to get where I wanted to go. <laughs> Sorry. Is it still going? Oh, did it stop? I think it stopped. Oh, well. Let me see if I push it again. Mm. 